everyone. My name is Maria Carroll and I am part of the Soft Smile team. And in today's tutorial, we will be covering some updates available in the post-processing scene, uh, specifically in the settings. Uh, we will cover the new printable model configuration, the wizard for fixture upload and the default positioning, the tag setup options, and swap laser markings. So let's get started. So we're going to access our settings by going into the menu bar up at the top right. We'll browse for settings. And we're going to look for the printable model configuration. And as you can see, the model style options, we have solid, hollow, and now we have hollow with stiffening ribs. And I'll show you what that looks like once we're finished with some of the settings. We're going to make sure we have enabled tag and go into the tag setup. The first thing we're going to see is the option for our uh, fixture configuration. So we can go ahead and go into replace file. So if we have a different type of fixture from the one that is presented, we can go into this uh, cell and then browse for our STL fixture, uh, click open and allow it to upload. Once it has uploaded, then we can manipulate the object orientation by clicking on one of the axes. So we have the uh, X, Y, and Z. And then by clicking on the button, you'll see that every time I click on the, for example, the X, it's going to uh, basically turn 90 degrees until it comes back to its original position. But you'll be able to position the fixture, you know, to the what's ideal for your production. Once you've manipulated your fixture, um, we can click on continue and this is going to take us into the label customization. So let's flip this around so we can look at it. So we'll see that the text style, meaning the fonts available to us, we'll be able to browse and choose the one that we prefer. We have the option for font size as well to increase or decrease the font size, letter spacing, bring them together or further apart, text intrusion. So as I look at the fixture and I manipulate the minus or plus sign, I can see how uh, extruded the label is on the fixture. And the aligner number digit count. So it'll always have two digits if you have up to 99. And if you go into the hundreds, then you'll add a th uh, three digits. So you'll have three digits numbers available you'll see that you have the option for a label one. So as we go through the labels, label one allows me to choose from the pre-selection uh, available where I just have to activate the cell and it'll allow for a case ID to be presented into the labeling. It'll allow uh, the aligner number, so a 01, 02, and so forth. And it'll also allow a liner type. So a liner type will be represented by A or T. The T is for a template for your attachments. And the A is for the aligner. It'll also allow for the jaw side, U for upper and the L for the lower. And it'll allow us to place the labeling on the left side, right side, or the center of the fixture. And the little garbage can is for uh, basically deleting the entire label. I have a total of three labels, but as you add additional labels, you'll be able to see the option uh, at the very bottom of the label that you have at the very beginning. And you can continue to click add label uh, in order to generate a new uh, customized option. So when I say customized option, meaning my label two, for example, has just my initials, I can click into the cell and write what I want and include again, 
either case ID, a liner number, a liner type, and jaw side. <clears throat> when you are creating a new label, you'll click on add label and you'll see the options show up with a text where I will click and place. And again, now I have a label for, and the word text is there. So again, I can say, uh, I can delete that and just type in what I want for my customized label. So once we've completed that, then we will be able to visualize all these options in our post processing. And in this final step is the positioning point. So this sets the point of the intersection with the inner surface of the jaws and the fixture. So by you changing the position of the intersection, the fixture will then be placed further into the structure of the model or further out. Once you've manipulated to where you want the fixture to be applied, then we simply click on the apply button. So now we're in the post-processing scene. And so you are familiar with the digits. So by clicking on the digits option, you will be placing the uh, digits on the tooth that you prefer. You can manipulate the uh, axis of that and manipulate the rotation and angulation. You can always add it on a different tooth and select one that you placed before and remove it if you didn't like the positioning. And so that is the digits. The tooling option, again, based on where you placed it, the fixture will be placed further in or further out. The labelings that we talked about are now visible and the option now to swap the laser markings from one side to the other is available so by clicking on it you now see that the logo can be placed on the right side or on the left side if you prefer by just clicking on the swap lasering and the trimming line so as you can see now, this is the new option that we talked about where it is a hollow model and it does have the uh, ribs to allow some the structure not to collapse under pressure. If we look at the trimming line, we have now removed the limitation functionality of the trim line. So now you can go uh, and trim uh, on the tooth as far as you'd like. So remember, those options are found in the menu under settings. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and thank you so much for watching.